welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you that how you can create windows 11 installation usb for both supported and unsupported hardware and in order to create a bootable usb you will need three different things number one windows 11 iso image number two rufu software that will be helping us to create a bootable installation usb and number three a usb drive that should be of at least eight gigabyte in space so without any delay let's quickly get started and before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem okay so first we will be downloading the windows 11 iso for that you have to open up any of your favorite browser then type windows 11 iso download then you will have to click on the first link that says download windows 11 now here you have to scroll down a bit and it says download windows 11 disk image so click on the drop down choose windows 11 multi edition iso click on download now choose the product language click on confirm and then finally you will have to click on 64 bit download and it will be downloading the latest version of windows 11 so now you can see it's around 6.3 gigabyte in space so it may take some time so you will have to wait until the downloading has been completed so now once the iso has been downloaded now next you have to download the rufus software so for that again open a new tab in your browser type rufus then click on the first link of rufus.ie then you have to scroll down a bit and click on the first link that says rufus4.4.exe and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded so open the downloaded file then click on yes and this kind of rufus dashboard will be coming up now you have to make sure that you have connected your pen drive your usb that you want to make installation usb so i have connected my sandisk that is of 32 gigabyte in space so you can click on the drop down and make sure that you have selected the right usb and also make sure that there is not any kind of important data because everything will be wiped out so once you have selected below you will find boot selection now here you have to locate to the iso that you have downloaded of windows 11 so click on select option on the right hand side then locate to the iso that you have downloaded select it click on open next you will find the image option so you have to keep this to a standard windows installation now in the partition scheme you will be getting two different option of mbr and gpt so these are the partition style and mbr is basically the master boot that is for the old computer the gpt is the new format new style so if you have a new computer that belongs like four or five years old then you can go with the gpt option only okay so select gpt volume label you can rename it like windows 11 usb so once it's been done finally you will have to click on the start now it will give you a pop-up that says customize windows 11 installation so as I said in the beginning that we will be creating for both supported and unsupported hardware. So let's say if you are on Windows 10, if you want to install Windows 11 on that particular unsupported hardware, then you can keep this option checked. That will be bypassing the 4GB secure boot and the TPM check. But if you are on a supported hardware, then you can go ahead and uncheck this option. Then you have remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. So while installing Windows 11, if you don't want that it should ask you for a Microsoft account, then you can keep this option checked or you can uncheck this option. But if you keep this option checked for removing the Microsoft account, then you can check this option that says create a local account with this username. Another option you also get. So if you want to keep this selected, you can select it. And then finally, you will have to click on OK. Now next it will give you a warning that all the data on this device on this pen drive USB will be deleted. So if you have any important data then you can go and take the data backup first and then proceed with this step. So once you are assured then finally you will have to click on OK. And the process will now be started. So now it may take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done. Alright, so our Windows 11 installation media is now ready and you can see that status shows us ready. Okay, so now if I click on close and open up the file explorer, go to this PC. So here you can see we have Windows 11 USB now instead of SanDisk and if I open it, 
you will find all kind of installation file over here of Windows 11. Alright, so this is the best and the easiest way guys to create a bootable the installation USB of Windows 11. And hopefully guys you found this video helpful and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.